Okay, recording in progress, and uh, I think there's some people waiting here, and uh, we're ready to go. This is our uh, Monday pop-up show, and uh, boy, am I, I've been tired lately. God damn it. Uh, well, hmm. maybe it's all this cold weather. Cold weather, yeah. My ass. It's ter terrible here. They, 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 the the um, landlord just doesn't send up heat. And last night, I slept freezing. And I think that's why I'm tired. I didn't get a restful sleep because of that. But anyway, let's uh, admit people, admit all. Let's see how many people we got here so far. We got Charlie Wallace. We got Charlene Solis. We got Marjorie Miller, somebody uh, I live with here. Edward Berger. <laughs> Uh, That's right. Back again, uh, uh, witty rather. Is it witty? Wit. It's wit. What? Wit. <laughs> wit. Wit. Okay. Here, let me put on my earphones better than the other way. Uh, uh, Francine Wit and uh, also uh, Leo. Oh. Lynn? Leo. Lynn, Leo. Oh God, I'm so out of it. We just. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you about it in a second. <laughs> Charlene Solis. Uh, yeah. We're not going to have uh, 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 Paula's not going to be here today because she's uh, going to the dentist. Yeah. Oh, that's always a thrill, isn't it? Uh, how are you all? Good. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, if I'm a little thrown off here, it's I. We ordered. From here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, uh, <laughs> well then i just word. won't i won't tell them okay oh, no, now you gotta i mean all i all i've got to do on shows like this is talk about my life and what's happening in it and since nothing's happening this is the most exciting thing that's happened in a week oh let's hear it you ordered a microwave oh that is exciting <laughs> Wow. But that's not the exciting part. The exciting <laughs> part is it was delivered by Amazon. Well, it wasn't really delivered by Amazon. It was partially delivered by Amazon. It was they, dropped by Amazon. They, they oh. left it downstairs in the lobby. Now, oh. I, I don't think I have to make a big deal out of this, but Marjorie and I are getting along in our years. And to lift a microwave, which is not really that heavy, but it's in a, a very a box. You can't exactly have anything to grab onto. And there yeah. were some handles on it, but the handles went into the foam on the inside, and you couldn't grab it anyway. Mm -hmm. Now we're we're pushing the thing into the elevator, and yeah. then we're pushing the thing into the apartment, and then we got to open it up, and um, it's. Yeah, it's just terrible to in you know for us to get these things done. So it's harder. All right. So after about a half hour of trying to get this thing out of the box, up onto the counter, uh uh that was our that was our exciting day today. Wow. And you know, I don't know what it is with Amazon, but if it's a heavy package, they don't deliver it. They live leave it downstairs. But if it's like a little box or a little something you know a little package comes right up I I've, been been in, huh? I've been in your elevator alex and i wouldn't i don't even want to get into that goddamn thing <laughs> into the elevator yeah that thing scared me <laughs> yeah it kind of scared me the first time i went in it too <laughs> but oddly enough i think we've only been caught in it once oh jeez once is all you need. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Once is all you need Once to get caught. Need. Well, yeah. you know what it is? I, I now have my watch, so it has a phone on it. So if okay. I'm stuck in the elevator, I can call somebody with it, you know. Uh, but uh, it's just, wow. You know, I mean, come on. I, I A big item like that, shouldn't you leave, just take it up in the elevator and leave it off at our door? Shouldn't you do that? <laughs> Absolutely. Especially when on the instructions it says we are seniors and please bring it up. Yeah. And, and wouldn't and nobody steals it downstairs? You're this well, thing's that's too the heavy. problem. We have no door, man. We have no nothing. Yeah. Just... We have a thing. We have a thing called uh, what do they call him? A presence. 
What, what, what a term? guard. It, it, it's it, boy, there's a sign up all the time saying guard on duty. There's never mm. a guard on duty. <laughs> Uh, but it 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 says uh, it's uh, um, it, it, they call it a presence. He's there. He's just there. And after four thirty in the afternoon, he's there till I think midnight, maybe. Wow, oh, I feel God. protected. Yeah, I saw an ad on the internet. I'm wondering if you can validate if it's if it's true. Is this is this your new shoe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I figured with the special odor control, it might be, <laughs> a, be a big shot. Brand. <laughs> is it is is it real or or, or is it some is it a Trump fake? Uh, no, we're selling them. We're selling. Them okay, to get enough money to care, take care of our legal fees for staying in this apartment. Yeah, I just I, I just wanted to verify because I was going to buy a pair at thirty two cents. Dollars. That's why you were on late today, wasn't it? You were busy putting that together. <laughs> <I was. laughs> my last minute uh what do they call it screwing around is that yeah, yeah. is that the technical term yeah if, if you can yes. put it in my uh in my uh, uh uh you know my facebook uh box there message box okay. and i'll put it up on my website <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you <laughs> yeah put it up there uh yeah so anyway so uh that that was our excitement for today but i just don't you know it used to be like for instance, they used to deliver by UPS, and UPS always would bring it to your door. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that X does. You want to leave it downstairs? Too much trouble bringing it up? Then quit your job for crying out loud. And you and you have an elevator, so it's not like they have to, you it's, know, uh, yeah, it up. Exactly. Exactly. You know. There's no reason not to. Oh, it's just a three hundred dollar items I didn't have to sign for. Yeah. 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 You only have to sign for liquor, Alex. Mm. Well, I'll never sign then. I don't <laughs> buy liquor. You're the one that buys all the booze in this house. <laughs> she has her cheap champagne. She buys her cheap. What is what is that champagne or what? It's not really champagne, is it? It's uh, uh yeah, but you can't call Prosecco. it champagne because it doesn't come from the champagne region of France. It's Prosecco, it's cheap champagne. How, how much does it cost per secco? I don't know. I get it by the case. It's a joke. I just pulled. How much does it cost per secco? Oh, oh. missed that one. Did nobody got that? No. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so how are we all doing? Well, I was in uh, Nat I was in Nashville this morning, and here I am back in California. <laughs> you were, what were you doing in Nashville? Land. My my goddaughter uh, got married over the weekend, so I went to see her, and and uh, as I was driving from her town to Chattanooga to have lunch with somebody, you dip into Georgia for just a second. So when I was doing that, I texted Mandy and said, "Hey, guess what? I'm in Georgia." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, she's probably like an hour away, but uh, I wonder where she is today. She might be taking. She might it's be a holiday. It's a holiday. It's a oh holiday. yeah, yeah. It is a holiday. Yeah. This, this is a day, a day that robbed us of one holiday. Yeah. And it's it's all because of those horrible black people. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> because because the, the black people wanted a birthday for Martin Luther King to be a national holiday, uh, so they said. Sure, we will. We should at least do something for you. Here, this makes up for slavery. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they they um um uh, uh it, it did Martin Luther King's birthday, but they didn't want to give us an extra national holiday. They couldn't do that. So they deprived us of one of our birthdays. It was Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday. And I always remember in school, I loved it because I knew that when I had like I think it was Washington's birthday. Or was it Lincoln's birthday? Then? Lincoln came first, yeah. Lincoln's Lincoln, birthday. Yeah. I knew that a week later, or slightly a week later, I have another day off. Yeah, right. You know, it was the best time of the year. So <laughs> anyway, that was that was that was it for me. You know, um, oh, who's uh, oh Andrew Deutsch just sent me the picture. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. it. It's, uh, it's low, it, low, low quality, but still kind of funny. It, oh yeah, it's wonderful. Where you get where'd you get the the uh, uh, uh what do you call it the um shoe out of my closet 
You have that too in your closet? <laughs> yeah, no, I shoe just I stole closet? I looked for the worst looking gold shoe I could find and, and just screenshotted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I I'm surprised you didn't find one of the ones for Trump. Just yeah. the, one, the, the ones for Trump, there's ones identical to it that you can get from that site, Timu, that don't say Trump on them. They're $17. Mm. Oh, really? His are $400. $300. dollars yeah, but his, his, his don't come with odor control, so they're authentic. <laughs> <laughs> and so they stink. <laughs> oh. They smell like ketchup and butt. <laughs> ketchup and butt? But. Yeah, that's what that's what that uh, what said Kenninger uh, Adam uh, said that that's what he smells like, combination of bo, ketchup, and butt. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's what our that's what our professional news organizations have to report. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I almost I was almost saying to myself, if I had a lot of fuck you money, which we haven't seen yet, I would just buy all the Trump merchandise <laughs> just to have it, you know, I mean, who doesn't want a pair of those goddamn ugly <laughs> ass shoes? He doesn't. You know, but he's, he's I selling, want a degree he's from selling Trump university. Is he selling <laughs> perfume now or what cologne? Were you, were you going to say Francine? No, no, I was, I was just uh, chuckling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can now buy his bobblehead and his cologne too, to raise money. You know, I was thinking about this yesterday when he when he came out with the shoe thing. And I said, when can you ever remember a person running for the most hallowed appointment in this country doing anything remotely like that? Yeah. Well, that's the least of it. I mean. Yeah. What was there, that? There, I don't know. <laughs> There, there are so many things that he's done that you can't believe somebody's running for president and, yeah. you know. Yeah, but I, I just, just it's, it's so, how, how, how much can you lower the position, okay? How, how much can you take the presidency down in, in reputation? You know, well, he's, he's going to be he's putting out I'm, uh, his, his own version of Astroglide. <laughs> for his for his followers. Oh, good lord! <laughs> that wasn't for baseball players in Houston. Yeah. to slide home on is it? Yeah. It's it's yeah. an adult uh, lubricant, I believe. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, I believe. It, yeah, uh, but uh, he, I mean, uh, doing that, it's just ridiculous. And uh, those those cards, those uh, fun, fungible yeah. cards yeah. that he was yeah. doing, and what else was he selling lately? Thanks. Uh, Remember steaks? Well, that was the old thing. This, yeah, that was that yeah. was legit for him. This is him trying to raise funds for his court cases. He's not right. spending yeah. any of this Charlene. money. On... What? Where's Charlene? We lost Charlene? her for some reason. Yeah. 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 She, got a phone she call. saw the special on Alex shoes and she had to get online and order them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stock up. Oh boy. Those are some ugly ass shoes. Are they really selling those? They're like three hundred dollars shoes or something like that. They were yeah. on some designer site. I just thought they were the ugliest damn thing I ever saw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of course, easily the ugliest thing you ever saw. I mean, outside of the ones that Trump is selling himself. Yeah. Well, if you if you go back and look at him on stage, there's some girl gets up and she's screaming and crying about how much she loves him, and he turns and you can see his girdle through his shirt. It's kind of funny. Really? <laughs> yeah. Watch, really? watch the video. Oh yeah, it's it's clear as could be. His his spanks. Hey, this is great. The only pre we should elect him. The only president that wears a girdle, <laughs> or needs to, <laughs> or needs. To. <laughs> wow, wow. All right, this isn't political, is it? No. no this is the just... jokes. The jokes just write themselves. Well, yeah. we're getting there. <laughs> No, we're not. Well, we're here that we got all slightly political. You got to mention John Oliver's show last night. Oh, it was great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? I missed that one. Well, let's say this. He is working as hard as he can to get one of the Supreme Court justices off the Supreme Court. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was, uh, it was a thing about uh, mm -hmm. um, which Supreme Court justice? What's his name? Well, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. which Thomas. the worst one? Yeah, 
Justice. Tom. He's always complaining about how how they don't get paid enough money to do this job. Yeah, and he also he also said that these are just friends I'm seeing and friends yeah. I'm getting money from. And and uh, last night, John Oliver at the end of his show said, yeah. "I am offering you, you Clarence Thomas, you have thirty days to pick up on this offer. I have the right. I have the agreement here in my hand. <laughs> if you yeah. quit the Supreme Court, I will give you a million dollars a year, every year for life." Every year for mm -hmm. life, okay. Plus a bus, plus a bus. Oh, well, that's uh, a part. We haven't gotten half a million dollar bus. He, he, he loves his buses. He has what's yeah. not called a bus. It's called a like a motor coach. I think motor yeah. coach. Motor motor yeah. yeah, more like a bus. Okay, and he travels around in it. And he loves yeah. it. Yeah, but he has yeah. old, he has an old one. So John Oliver offered him a new top of the line motor coach by the same company that it did his. It is, yeah. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Have you ever seen yeah. it? Yeah. And he also said HBO's not paying for this. I am. No. Yeah. The coach oh, itself costs two million dollars, he said. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Two million dollar coach. So uh uh, he said, maybe HBO's maybe paying for the coach. I don't know. But he said they weren't paying the no, dollars yeah, a year. Fine. And I think he had to do that because I don't think HBO, it's not that they don't want to give money to that. They don't want to be involved in it, in that respect. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> it's, wow. it, 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 I don't think he'll take him up on it, of course. No, if, he won't. If he does, and it costs John Oliver a million dollars a year, it's worth it to him in the publicity. Yeah. I mean, can you yeah. imagine the publicity in the papers for weeks about Clarence Thomas taking money from John Oliver to quit the Supreme Court? I'm sure he's thought about quitting the Supreme Court. Here's a good yeah. time to do it. On, on John Oliver's request, I'm designing some shoes he can sell to make up the million a year. <laughs> okay. Very good. I, 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 will, I will send John Oliver your address, okay? <laughs> Yeah, boy, uh, that was that was hilarious. That was yeah. really funny. It's funny he spent a, about twenty minutes talking about the Supreme Court. That was his subject last night, and I'd say half of it was Clarence Thomas. Yep, and justifiably so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and but but how they were just never uh, the Supreme Court uh, is just not accountable to anybody. Right. Yes. Hey. Just yeah. Amazing. yeah, I'm I'm unaware of but any what, mechanism to remove. What, what what about checks and balances? Isn't that supposed to be the thing that you know takes care of the yeah. Supreme Court not being yeah. accountable? Like there, you know, there's a uh, the you know the Congress, the legislature, and then the president. Like the Supreme the Court Supreme has Court. no codes of conduct. Nope. The, the, the check is that the president gets to appoint whoever goes on the court, and you're th you're gonna think the president's gonna appoint somebody that first of all is competent, and second of all is ethical. Yeah, well, let's, let's well, give, well. Give, a, a, give Donald Trump a certain sense of being ethical. He didn't appoint, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, our uh, former mayor here in New York. <laughs> Oh, Rudy, yeah. Rudy Giuliani. Giuliani. Yeah. I can't remember anything today. Rudy Giuliani uh, as, 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 uh, to the Supreme Court. Otherwise, if he were on there now, he'd be just spritzing hair dye like crazy. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So um, that was that. Let's see here. Uh, and uh, then there was Curb Your Enthusiasm. We just have this checklist of all the things we watched. I did watch it. I did watch it last night. I did my homework. That, that, that's that's <laughs> funny. It's, it was funny yeah. last night. Um, but, you know, one thing is that uh, uh, Francine here, I didn't know this until somebody pointed out to me, you're a writer. You're an author. Mm -hmm. How many books have you written? I have about, well, I write poetry and flash fiction, and I have about 11 books or really? so. Did you, and, did, yeah. Did you have a publisher for that? It was a self published. No, no, no. no. I, I, I don't like to self publish only because um, 
I don't know. I just, I just don't. Because anybody can do uh, that is the reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, say that there's anything wrong with it. Um, but I publish with very, very small presses. And um, as most poetry presses are pretty small, um, some people get published with Norton or Random House, but those are sort of high level poets, like a poets laureate. You know, well, is there any money being a poet anymore? No, oh no, no, there's there's no money <laughs> at all. You know, when you're um, on a date, do you say to somebody, I'm a you know, I'm a, guess what? I'm a poet, you know, like well, I'm I'm big well, bucks now. You you can get to know. I, I, I'll tell you, most of the people that I associate with, in fact, I met my husband at a poetry reading, so they're mostly poets themselves and they don't really they yeah. they know they know the deal. So um, but is there any money in poetry? Are there any poets today who are making a good living out of it? Well, you know, like you take if you take someone like Billy Collins or, um, you know, Rita Dove, people like that. They make their money on appearances. I see. And like they'll, they'll go they'll go to a college and they'll get fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, really? You read poetry? Yes. Oh. Just, but someone at that level, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I've gone to I've gone to colleges and made a couple hundred dollars, you know, to give a reading, maybe teach a class. Mm -hmm. That's not that common, but that's that is kind of how you make the money, yeah. if you make any money at all. But it's not, you know, um, mm. it's not. Oh, it's not about the money. I mean, I hate to say that because it sounds so stupid, but. Um, How about publishing books? I mean, are books uh, financially remunerative unless you're somebody who does mysteries or something like that? Yeah, you have to like when you write when you publish books nowadays, you have to be like um, like a genre, you know, like a mystery writer. Okay. Or or nonfiction nonfiction writers make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, they they get these big deals and they write exposés and you know just about any anybody that you see on TV is pushing something you know whenever I watch talk shows like they all have a book that just came out or they have a movie that's coming out you know so um, that's kind of how it works but small poetry books mm -hmm. are done by small very small presses that are just yeah. in it. Yeah. For the love of it. And, you know, then then what I do is I go to poetry readings and I have my book or um, I do something online and I sell my book. So, yeah. But at least you're being published. Right. And I don't like to I don't personally like to spend anything to get published. That's my. Well, of course. Thing. It's like, of course not. Well, but when you self publish, you have to spend money to do it. Right. Like that, that. So that's my. That's my line in the sand, you know, like I don't have to make money, but I'm not going to spend money. Marjorie, because... Marjorie, you read a lot, right? Not as much as I, I used to. Yeah. But were you ever a poetry reader? Very little. Just yeah. in school. Yeah. yeah. But you, you read a lot of novels. Yeah. But poetry just in school. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, well, I prefer the dirty limerick books. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you know there is no limerick that's clean? Really? It, it it has never been a clean form of poetry. Well, not if it rhymes with Nantucket. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that's your first line right there, the rest no. of it rhymes. Well, like my so. favorite was there was a <laughs> young woman from the Azores. Okay. I won't go, I won't go for. I can't. Go. This was the most disgusting <laughs> one that I ever heard. Uh -huh. the young That's where woman, my wife's family's from. The Azores. Yeah, the Azores. Yeah. Is she really? Yeah, she's Brazilian, and but prior to that, they lived. Well, in the then Azores. I better not do this limerick because you'll be offended by it. Look at this. Oh, oh, he Edward. There's already making fun of us, and he didn't even know he was wearing the hat. That's right. <laughs> I'm like Brazil hat this week. Yeah. Is By the it, way, I got an advance on my biography of Ed Berger. It's, uh, oh, it's coming out in twenty. Good. Now. I'll be looking forward what to what it. Is your, what does your cap say? Not, uh, not me? Yeah. Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how you spell it in Portuguese. I have a friend yeah. of mine in, in Brazil right now. Wait, did you go to Brazil? No, my, 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 my niece did. And she 
She gave me for back this ad for me. Yeah, and she came back alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I hear Brazil is not uh, not uh, the best, uh, safest place to go. It's not. Yeah. It was I have a friend who just there. went on vacation there, and she wrote me a note saying, so far, my purse hasn't gotten snatched. <laughs> you know. But her snatch has. So, oh, yeah. uh, You've been purse? I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the limerick goes, are, 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 does anybody get offended by something really gross? No. Or how many of you really want to hear it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> there was a young woman from the Azores whose snatch was all covered with sores. When she walked down the street, the dogs ate the green meat that hung in festoons from her drawers. Oh, God. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> How's that for poetry, Francine? That's all right. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. But, but there, there aren't there aren't limericks that are clean. I think I wrote a clean one once, uh, just to say you could. But it really, they were meant to be a body form of poetry. Yes. You know. Yep. And there were some good ones like that one. I think that one is exquisite. When I heard it, I went. You know, I think I think what's so good about it is the word festoons. <laughs> it yes. gives it a certain class, a certain je ne sais quoi. There was, right. there was something good about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that thing, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It was pretty good. I, 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 I figured with Azores, you were going to rhyme with whores. That's what I thought too. Yeah, That's. Too. It seemed like it was right there. <laughs> Hung in festoons. I mean, I think that that is just, just the classy, the classy limerick. I mean, what other limerick do you know that uses the word festoons? <laughs> How many people do you know who knew what festoons meant? Bit. You know, but hmm. listen, that background you use there every time, Andrew, which obviously yeah. isn't your background, isn't where yeah. you are. Where is that conference? No idea. Stole <laughs> it off. I stole it off the same the same internet I stole those shoes off of. <laughs> ah. I see. Okay. We'll go to the hotel lobby. Is that better? Uh, uh, the, 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 your, your, your room like that is just fine. We recognize yeah. it and associate that with you. So anyway, so I'm, I'm thinking, uh, not getting political here, but do you think Trump's going to make it to the election? No. Oh, you don't? Oh, good. <laughs> just getting political. That's not political. That's opinion about a man's future. Yeah, that's I, I question if either of these candidates will make it to November. I think yeah. there'll be a convenient change on the Democrat side too at the convention. Do you? That's, oh. the rumor. that's the rumor. That's my guess. I don't have any evidence. It's just just guess. Well, you know what I get tired of what bothers me is is the joke. I'm going to be president. You know, a guy like Bill Maher. Bill Maher says, "Oh, I'm I'm not ageist at all." And then he goes on and tells nothing but one ageist joke after, yeah, another. after another. You know, and I just what I don't like from what I hear, what makes Biden look like he is getting old is that as he's gotten older, his stutter has gotten worse. Yes. yes. Okay, and that is being mistaken for not being clear of mind and, right. every, and everybody goes around they go around they they talk about biden and they the people who know him say there's nothing wrong with his you know his ability to do business on a day-to-day -day basis is fine you know yeah. uh he you want, a you, want to, you know the republicans had the greatest president of all time that spent his last term having alzheimer's yeah that was mm -hmm. uh, reagan and you know they, they they always talk about him as Mr. Republican. Well, Mr. Republican didn't know where he was at any given moment in that second yeah. term. And in fact, Mrs. It, Republican was running the country. Well, Nancy was running the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, th that's the worst case scenario. And how old was uh, how old was he when that happened? In his mid seventies. Yeah, he wasn't even eighty yet. Yeah. So it has not. I we were saw something on uh, 
on CBS Sunday Morning yesterday about it. it age really has nothing to do with your acuity. You know, yes. there are people like Reagan who were well into, into, into dementia by the time they were 50, 75, 76, somewhere around in there. And, mm -hmm. and there are other people that have been just brilliant and well into their 90s. You know, so or, or, or me who can't get a single uh, word out without uh, uh, trying to remember what the word was before it. But anyway, you know, you know, I, 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 I feel, you know, I, if I were, I could not be present. OK, uh, it's not that I can't do the job. I can't stay awake to do the job. So. And that's, there's no rumors of Biden falling asleep in meetings like there were with Trump. Oh, Trump, uh, Trump uh, has his uh, bunch of problems, too. He's four years younger, but I think far further into senility than, yeah. than Biden. Yeah. And I, I think I'm not worried about Biden being able to help ha ha uh, to handle a national crisis. OK. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, but it's just the whole ageism of it that bothers me, the jokes that are made about it. I don't mind if you say, hey, I think he's kind of losing it. I think he's kind of whatever and i don't think i can vote for him i understand but when you then pull a joke about the age that's when it starts mm -hmm. to bother me and everybody on late night tv feels they have to do a joke about biden being mr magoo you know right well they have to come up with something you know they have to poke fun at him in some way yeah, yeah. right so i guess they that's the easy thing to do it's just the easy, like, oh, he's old. Okay, he's old. Oh, it's an easy joke. Yeah, easy right. Joke, you know, uh, yeah. but it, it just, it just, I don't know, kind of, I, as someone who is, God, 84, I hate saying that, but 84, <laughs> and I lie about my age. That's the worst part about it. No, I'm, I'm 84. Uh, I, I get upset when I hear jokes like that now. I just think they're cheap shots, you know, and, yeah. you know, and while I feel I'm not on the high end of, of knowing what I'm doing at my age, I'm certainly not on the low end of it either. And, and people should be made to know that at every age you, uh, you can take people of a certain age and then look at all of them and they all have a different amount of clarity and so on and so forth, you know? It's not it's not an age thing. It's how far your brain is rotting. Hey, Alex, I just I just asked the AI to write something for us. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Biden with economic flair guiding the nation guided the nation with care. Jobs surged, deficits fell, growth outpaced the eurozone swell, a rebound beyond compare. So I guess AI likes Biden. I told him to write a <laughs> I told to write a limerick about Biden, a, a clean and limerick about Biden. There you go. Was that that one didn't sound like a limerick? It was. Yeah. It, it was. was a, a limerick goes to Biden with economic flair, guiding the nation with, with care. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so, okay. Uh, it, wrote, it wrote a negative and a and a positive. The negative one I'm not going to read because it's it's mean. Well, don't read it. <laughs> it says Biden, a senile old man, pulled He's... out our troops from Afghan leaving civilians as hostages. And just like an ostrich, he buried his head in the sand. That's not bad. That's terrific. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. I love that. You know. Um, Thanks, Joe. Hmm? I did like one thing that they talked about yesterday on um, Sunday morning, because I was a little, I was a little afraid of this. I, I had, um, I couldn't remember if I washed the conditioner out of my hair. Seriously, when I got out of the shower, I said, did I? And I had to go back in <laughs> and rinse my hair again. Had so, you washed it out? You know, I I don't know. But yeah. I went back in because yeah. I'm that neurotic. And I said, oh, I bet, you know. And it, it made me very upset that, oh, my God, I can't remember something simple like that. But then I thought, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. And then that's what they were talking about on that show, because I watched it later. They said, "Don't worry about not remembering something like that, or where your keys are, well, or whatever. You just made right." They said because you probably you might not have been paying attention, 
And that's the reason you couldn't remember. It's not that there was some, you know, something that flew out of your head necessarily. It wasn't there in the first place. So it's like when you can't remember someone name that someone's name that you just met, yeah. it's just because you really weren't paying attention to it. You were just going, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, you know. But if you said, oh, hi, Kathleen, then you'll remember it. So that made me feel good. That made me feel good to think. There were quite a oh, few no. things in that piece that made us feel good because Martin yeah. forgets yeah. stuff and so on. And that forgetting is not necessarily a part of that. The thing that they said that's kind of interesting, I think it was mentioned there, is that the brain can only hold so much information. Exactly. You know? And when you start filling up, it has to offload some information. And that's right. why you forget some old things, older things. Right. Like right. I'm forgetting now sequence in life. You know, what I did here, when I did that, when I did this, when I did that. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, but present stuff, I, you know, I'm completely aware of, you know, so uh, I, I, but I wondered about that because I always thought that the reason why you started forgetting stuff was because your brain was filling up. And that's exactly the reason why. But I don't know how much your brain can take. But, you know, think about it. Think about all the information you have stored in your brain. Right, Marjorie? I think Marjorie's ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Am I right, Marjorie? About. <laughs> about, about, about feeling like you have to said? go to sleep. She just emptied her brain. Yeah. <laughs> what'd you say what'd you say i said she just emptied her brains and she's starting over <laughs> <laughs> but you know that was a good that was a good piece about aging you know because it was. It, the it whole was. Top, the whole reason for it was because we keep complaining about here are two older guys running for president by the way interesting little piece of trivia these are the two oldest people mm -hmm. to run for president they are surpassing who? Themselves. Themselves when yeah. they ran four right. years ago. Yeah. Right. You know, broke I broke their own record. <laughs> listen, I, you know, I, uh, uh, an older person has has information. He has experience. You know, in, in Indians used to have a thing called the Council of the Wisest Elders, and the you know the the chief of the tribe would go to them to go have them say how he should do stuff because they were wise and they had had years and they knew what they were doing you know and maybe he was just experiencing it for the first time we don't tend to look at it that way i think we should have a council of the wisest elders that does not include donald trump uh yeah. the wisest <laughs> elders and 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 not worry about the age of a president particularly you know, I mean, younger presidents have done really well. Obama, I think, did fine. You know, it, yeah. it wasn't a great president, but he was a good president. He was good. Yeah, he was good. You know? And, um, you know, uh, do you realize that, what is it, three of the presidents that we have that are still alive uh, are, are younger than these two guys? Yeah. You know, always, Clinton's always younger than he is. People. Of course, Obama's younger than he is, and uh, Bush is younger than than the, either of them are. Yeah. So that's the reason you go to talk to old people is because they got those little butterscotch candies. Well, that's that 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 too. <laughs> that too. And gum. You know, I've never been hot for butterscotch candies. Me neither. Yeah. That's when I knew I was old when I started I think, buying butterscotch. Oh, I think when I <laughs> ate butterscotch candies was years ago. I kind of got hooked on. Them. But then I stopped being hooked up, you know. Marjorie, you like butterscotch candies? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm asking her because she's the oldest person here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. No. That's true. <laughs> Wishing his luck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how you doing, Charlene? I just wanted to check in with you. I'm doing well. Yeah. I'm doing well. Yeah. Just... Uh, Clean my house this morning. Real exciting one I have. Had any uh, COVID, uh, uh, what do you call it, relapse or whatever? Relapse down. Um, 
<clears throat> no, I just it just hung on for a long time. It did. I'm getting better, but just that tiredness, that really body tiredness. I'm still tired. Yeah. Yeah. That that takes a while. Yeah. It takes a while to shake that completely. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't have it yeah, hard, but I had it. Uh, you know, I had it three times. I'm a three times person. I, I, wow. I feel I've really, if I've never accomplished anything in life, it's that I got COVID yeah. three times. <laughs> you know, but it, that's good because I got it three times after the vaccine. Vaccine. The vaccine uh, happened, so it I wasn't dangerous to me. Yeah. Uh, but if I had gotten it you know, during that period of time where they were just hauling people off to the hospital to die. Yeah. You know, I can't scary. even believe that we're just a few years removed from that. My sister-in-law was, when she, she had it, she was one of the first people to have it. And when she was in the hospital, there was 35 people only in Alameda County that had it. Wow. She, she was really sick. She was on a, uh, you know, they had, and they didn't really know what was going on so that everybody had to be in a hazmat suit when they were around her and it was, yeah. it was super scary uh, yeah but she survived it right oh yeah yeah okay. all right thank goodness wow <laughs> wow watch out uh, andrew watch out you got covid behind you <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but no, it's, it's it, it, you know, I mean, I just think about how we reacted to it when it first happened. Mm -hmm. And as two people who were along in years, I mean, by that time I was in my, I think I was maybe not 80 and Marjorie was 107. And, um, <laughs> pretty high temperature. We didn't go out for all those months. We did not leave. You know, well, the funniest is it's when you got packages. We would leave it in our entranceway for a couple we have days. A wipe it down. Wipe it down. Right. right. <laughs> Spray it with uh, with Spray it. Let it right. sit there. And let it just sit there. Right. If yeah. you could get spray. There was a time where you couldn't even get it. Oh. You just infect it. Remember? Like, and you couldn't get toilet paper either. It, right. <laughs> and you couldn't get anything that cleaned anything. I never understood why toilet paper. You know, um, I think, the people go, oh, it's a, this, this is a pandemic. I better get toilet paper. What do you think? You're going to shit your brains out? Why? <laughs> well, the trailer park, they just threw a hose through the window. <laughs> <laughs> you're the best, Andrew. You're the best. He is the best. You want to do the show from here on in and I'll just sit here and watch everybody? <laughs> Take all the fun out of it. We're going to interrupt you. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, I mean that, that was a that was a scary time. I mean, I oh, was, you know I was afraid that I was going to get it. You know, I think everybody here. Yeah, was. everybody was. Yeah. yeah, and and all of us. I don't know how old you are, Francine, but you you look like you're in your thirties. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. No, no, I'm actually I'm seventy two. You're what? Oh, good. I don't believe that. <laughs> I swear to you, I'm seventy two. But thank you. Yeah, well, being 72, then I you got to know yeah. what it was like to be afraid of it at that yeah. time. And everybody oh, totally. Here, totally. I think old enough that we all felt, you know, I, I didn't yeah. know. I felt it was, it was looking at me to get me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it was it was very terrifying and it just kept going on and kept coming back. And I sometimes think it's like they took. Wait a minute. Three years out of our lives, you know, three years out of our like lives. they, whoever they are, but three years out of our lives, we're just concerned with COVID no, and not getting COVID it, it, yeah, and, yeah. you know. And, and yeah. but there are those people that go, I think we overreacted to it. And that's an easy thing to say in retrospect. Nope. Okay. Because today you get it. Okay. So if you got it, go, go to your doctor, get Paxlovid. And yeah. You take care of it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and even if you get it, you've been vaccinated, no problem, yeah. you know, but right. nevertheless, you know, back then it was, uh, if you went outdoors, it was, it was scary. I just, we didn't, we didn't go out, did we, Marjorie? No. No. And back then we were losing a nine 11 a day, 3000 people a day were dying yeah. from. 
Yeah. Well, how many are dying now? You used to keep that statistic. Yeah, they quit publishing it, so I don't know. But they, they, I just saw that they were losing a thousand people a week now. So it's higher now than it was six months ago. Well, I know it's it's worse now because I got it, you know, yeah. and and yeah. I only went out. I don't go out much. Ever since I took the fall, I kind of am afraid to walk by myself outside. Sure. Uh, which I really shouldn't because I yet to even become close to falling, but I don't want to take the chance. Anyway, yeah, you're. Yeah, you still. Yeah, you're. You're done. Shot. Way, Marjorie, yeah. you were away when Francine told us how old she is. How old do you think she is, Marjorie? You're on, you're on mute. How many? How how old do you think she is? Me. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. No, but t take a guess. I'm I'm bad at this. Yes. I, that's, what, that's, what, what it means that's... is you don't want to insult her. <laughs> Just yeah. tell like, me already. She's seventy two. <laughs> she's seventy two. Does she look as a woman? Does she look seventy two to you? In good shape. <laughs> yeah. Actually, at seventy two, you looked great too. And you still look great. You do. Yeah. It's just that you just don't know where you are now. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I, that piece, if anybody gets a chance to watch it, it was very interesting about age and, and how yeah. we age and, and, and just how, it, how, it, how it's perceived. But um, these two candidates are, I think most people feel too old to be president. I remember when they thought Eisenhower was too old. Yeah. yeah. He was he was how old? He was in his 60s, maybe? In his 60s. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, 60 used to be a lot older. You know, yeah. 60 used to be like, you know, when I was a kid, I thought of someone in their 60s as, oh, my God, they're going to die any minute. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now 60 is like, you know. I don't mean it's the new 50 or I don't mean that, but it's, no, I think it's, our perception, yeah. our perception of what, what a, a 60 year old person should look like or well, act like, or a seven year old person. I, I, I you remember know? when Walter Cronkite was forced to retire at 65. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most people were forced to retire at 65. Right. Well, 65 used to be old. Yeah. Well, I just don't think it is anymore. Yeah. Uh, Depends on where, how you view it. I'll tell you. I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah, I'll tell you what's yeah. changed though. What's changed is that if you're 65, yeah, that it's not as old as it used to be because people, you know, um, uh, were dying at 65. Okay, uh, but what is different is that you reach 65, try and get hired. 60, yeah. Well, that's try right. And that's fifty. That's still true. Try and that's, get hired. That's back still then, true. Back yeah. then, there was no problem getting hired at that age. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it's really changed and why that has changed. But, uh, you know, life expectancy has gone up. It's up. It's back up around 77. It went down during COVID. COVID, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I it's think, 77 now. Uh, worldwide, by the way. Yeah, I think the boomers are having a lot to do with it, the baby boomers. It's like, we're just not giving it up. You know, that's how I look at it. It's like, we still want to wear our, our jeans. We still want to, you know what I mean? Like, we mm -hmm. still want to be in the game. Yeah. Uh, and I think that moves it along. So I think that's why if mm -hmm. you look at someone, like, if you look at a woman and, and she's 40, like, 40 used to be, like, that was it, you know. Like, You're washed up. Yeah. Right. And, like, you were, you know, you were just, like, an old lady pretty much, or you were just, you know, like you would back off and let the young people kind of, you know, do what they do, but people aren't doing that anymore. They're saying, hey, you know, I'm 40, I'm still okay. And I think that's a lot of where, you know, the president, you know, the presidential candidates are like, I'm 80, but I'm okay. I we, can still, I'm, I'm, I've got, I'm qualified. Why should I, why should I step down? I mean, you know, what, what, a few days ago, I was, I was thinking about the fact that, uh, now I'm trying to remember what it was I was thinking about. I can't remember. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. No. It, it, yeah. <laughs> no. I, what was it I was thinking about? It was it was something that uh, about aging and about you know. Oh well, I'll remember it in a minute. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it was like I went to the doctor the other day for my yearly appointment that I see him about once every three years for, 
and uh you know he gave me all these tests and things like that and um uh then he i she sits down with me this doctor actually sits down with me and talks to me and you know, any questions i have marjorie knows him you just you know he'll sit with you as long as you got questions you got to ask him he's you know he's not looking at the watch going no visit should be longer than seven minutes in a doctor's office and as i'm leaving he says i uh, said he said, well, uh, we're, we're walking down the hall. And I'm, I asked him one, one last question. He answered it. And then I said, I'm sure there's another question, but I'll remember when my hand hits the door leaving, you know. And, yeah. and that's the way our minds work, you know. We, 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 oh, I'm here at the doctor. I know what I want to ask him. I have a whole list of things to ask him. And then you don't ask him everything. And then you walk out wondering why you didn't. Well, I, I make a list. I do too. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Mar Marjorie makes a list too. I just write it down. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so, uh, uh, I, but I was trying to think of what was it I was thinking of. And it was, I was trying to think of, of something that, that made me wonder about now versus then. And uh, I can't remember what it was. Well, that's it for me, folks. I'm giving up. <laughs> all that's left for me is to run for president you know? yes, so, right. <laughs> of your condo association lynn how you doing out there in california well as i said i was in nashville this morning and uh so i'm just exhausted i'm trying to keep my eyes open here i'm gonna go take a nap <laughs> yeah, well, you, it's also it's also you know it's a, it's a time differential yeah between yeah, like when when it when it was uh what was it uh oh say 6 30 in in nashville it was 1957 in California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up at four this morning, central time. So that's 2 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, no, you, you know, how long were you out there? Just Thursday through today. Yeah. So wow. Your, yeah. Uh, your jet lag shouldn't be that terrible. No, in and out, nobody gets hurt. What I hated was when we went to China. And that's like, yeah. how many hours was that trip, Marjorie? Something like 16 hours or something? Yeah. On the plane. And when you take that whole trip and then you come home, yeah. or when you get there, by the way, you get jet lag. Okay? Mm. Because, you know, and it takes you something like three or four days to get over the jet lag. So for mm. like a quarter of my trip to China, I don't even remember being there <laughs> because of the jet lag. Uh, yeah. Are there ways to fight jet lag? Yeah. What? Uh, well, when I when I used to travel, I'd be in five or six countries a week, and the, the trick is you always get ahead on your watch to the next place you're going to be before you get there. Mm -hmm. So if I'm flying to a country, I know I'm arriving in the morning. I'll go to sleep on the plane, and when I arrive, it's the morning, and you can you pre-adjust. If you wait to get there to adjust, you're screwed. But yeah. I mean, it wasn't uncommon for me to be in, in, in a one week time, I'd have two days in China, a day in India, something in Europe and back to the States. Yeah. yeah the, just... problem, the problem with that, Andrew, is nobody wears a watch anymore. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, but, hey, but, hey, but, but Len, oh. Len, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. I'm old. I we're, we're all on Apple watch time. Yeah. yeah. Right. But that's really, that's one of the, one of the tricks is you, you, when you get on the plane, you change your watch. By the way, speaking of watches, there's something that, that's changed in our lives, okay? Uh, is you never have to set your watch. No, but you have to set your damn microwave and oven every time the power... Every, you know, yes. All the technology in the world, and they yep. can't make a microwave that can keep the time, they, and they, they can't, can't make, make a, one that if, if the idiot before you left three seconds on the timer... They can't make a... Turns it off. They can't make one where you push one button on the microwave and it, when you go to regular savings time, it, mm -hmm. you know, it... it no. It, my, no. My kitchen oven is web enabled, except for the clock. <laughs> yeah. Everything I can, I can, oh, I can our kitchen change oven the temperature is, from my phone, but I can't. Our kitchen can't oven is so web enabled that I get bugged by my stove to clean it. <laughs> Get messages um, on my watch. It's time to clean your stove. My com <laughs> mine complains about my cooking. It says it smells like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> What's that in the background uh, there? Uh, what what what? Who's that in the background, Edward? 
Oh, that, that's uh, my like grandnephew. Oh, oh don't crazy. panic. Really I'm not panicking. <laughs> I was calling nine one one. No, no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> by by the way, you you live out in Queens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Where in Queens exactly? Flushing. Flushing. Right. Yeah. I yeah. did that right before this call. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a Chinese, basically Chinese neighborhood now, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot of Chinese. Yeah. And that's why we call it flu shing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh because I, we went there to visit uh, some friends who Marjorie when Boom at. was living out there. Yeah. And there's there's like a market there. It's, you want to buy a tortoise? <laughs> buy one this big and the, they'll pre-cook it for you. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yeah, it's like going into a zoo, not into a, <laughs> a, a meat market. You know, I hear the um, bats are delicious. Bats <laughs> are terrific. But they're going bats over the bats. I'm making vegan bat. It's called. I can't believe it's not bat. You have, <laughs> have all that bat crunch and none of that COVID aftertaste. <laughs> Possible bat. <laughs> Oh boy! Funny. <laughs> there we go. There we go. He has to be positioned correctly, otherwise they won't be right on his back. Mm -hmm. Unless I want to be good, and I have these. <laughs> <laughs> he has more fun with his uh, <laughs> with his Zoom picture. Filters, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it, it's just been, uh, I, as I said, I've just been very tired lately, and I think it's still trying to get over that just a little bit of the yeah. that I had, you know. Yeah, it hangs on. It does. It hangs on. Oh, well. Fatigue. Yeah. You'll, you'll get better eventually. I'll just, I'll just sleep all yeah. the time. That's all, you know. Uh, oh, that's why he was pushed to the back bedroom. <laughs> yeah, and she wishes I were still there after last night. She says I was snoring a lot. Like crazy. <laughs> Nothing a little meth can't help. And you kept, you kept trying to push me over. Push me over on my side. Yeah. Over and at one point, I was just obstinate. I wouldn't let you push me, right? You had a hard time pushing me? Yeah, finally I got there. Yeah, finally. Oh, finally I gave up trying. And I, you know. But because I, you know, when I lie on my back, I snore. Otherwise. I'm like, I, do you? On my side, I don't snore. Oh, and by the way, side. Speak of speaking of snoring, Miss Snore, you know. So, anyway, I can't. Uh, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else of of note to talk about today. Uh, it my, is a holiday, Alex. It is a holiday, and it is uh, Washington and Lincoln's birthday. That's why we call it President's Day. But now, does it encompass every president? Yes, uh, I think so. Yeah. Because we seem to have liked, we, we were very fond of two presidents, Washington and Lincoln. Washington, because he was the first. Mm -hmm. It didn't mean, we don't know whether he was a good or bad president. It's kind of like I used to say, when you, uh, when you look back at your sex life and I ask you about the first time you ever had sex, how good was it? And you never can really say how good it was because you had nothing to compare it to. Compare it to afterwards. Huh? You can compare it to what afterwards. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that you you can compare the second one to the first one, and then the third one to the first and second <laughs> one, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. First time you do it, it's the best you ever had. The you answer know? is it was the first was amazing, and then the second you had a partner. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I I should ban you from this program, Andrew, because you're funnier than I am. Oh, <laughs> oh come on back. There we go. <laughs> Gonna go sit in the corner. <laughs> I need to get a dunce cap uh, image. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, that and all those uh, all those are being done on your computer, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no second computer you're using or anything like no, that. No, just a tablet for the controls. Re oh, okay. Well, you... Yeah. Uh, I no. see. Okay. 
Yeah. What do you, you put, use on the tablet? What program are you using for that? Called the uh, Touch Portal. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, I think it costs like $19 to own it. It's cheap. Yeah. And it's an old, it's an old Android tablet I had, I wasn't using. Well, I have a thing I use for my nighttime shows, which I don't use for this, which is on a keypad here and yeah. it's uh, called Stream Deck. Yeah. Those are, those are good too. This, this one, you can get multiple buttons and you don't have to, you don't have to have the hardware. Stream Deck is, is a little easier to program, but. Well, Stream Deck, I it doesn't have to be hardware because there are versions of it that I can use on my iPad. Yeah. But the reason I like it because I actually have a keypad in front of me and I can mm -hmm. push things for all different kinds yeah. of effects that I want. You know. Yeah, they make one that puts it goes on the floor too with foot pedals, so you can. Oh, really? A Stream Deck makes it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we lost everybody else here with our tech talk. Wake up! Wake up! Yeah. <laughs> And it, we've run out of time here, looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Charlie, thank you. Charlie's always here. It's good. What does your, uh, your T-shirt say today? <laughs> uh, this humorous. <laughs> oh, humorous, yeah. <laughs> no bones about it. <laughs> and uh, Marjorie, thank you for joining us. What's for dinner tonight? Mm. <laughs> I had something in my mouth, sorry. Your tongue. Go ahead. What, what's what's for dinner tonight? Chicken enchiladas. Okay, good. I like those chicken enchiladas. You like those? They're okay. Yeah. I'm not very hungry today. I don't know why. Uh, thank you so much, Francine. So good having you here. It's a nice second week in a row. I hope we see you again next week. Oh yeah, I'm I'm down. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. so uh, you're like yeah. the, like Marjorie and I. You have no life. Okay. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> no, but here. <yeah. laughs> Um, this is fun. This is really fun. What was Paula going to her dentist for? Isn't today a holiday? She had a yeah, major I, I, something oh, happen. Oh, she had a major something happen. Okay. Oh. Lynn, good having you back from Nashville. I'm saying good, good having you back from Nashville. I didn't know <laughs> you were there, but you know. I'm just, <laughs> it's an interesting good. town, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, and also, a uh, thank you to uh, uh, Andrew Deutsch for upstaging me and <laughs> we, we love you doing it you know you're, as always you're very you're very funny it's fun uh, and yeah we glad you find it fun and finally as charlene solis thank you and we wind up as we do each and every week with one certain <laughs> individual with a certain funny voice it sounds like a cartoon who signs <laughs> off this program by saying that's all folks <laughs> <laughs> everybody See you later.